For eight years, I have gamed, studied, and worked with one constant companion, my unbranded mesh budget office chair. It hardly shows any signs that it's close to a decade old and the cushioning is as good as I remembered it to be when I first got it. My favorite pastime is putting my feet up, reclining all the way, and replying to emails in this position or just watch whatever random video comes my way. This chair accomplishes so many things correctly that even if you finish this video and decide to buy something else, I guarantee that you'll at least leave knowing what to look for in an office chair because of the great design of the ErgoDynamic EHC-420. I'm Rafael from Hardware Sugar, the only PC shop in the Philippines with no BS warranty, and this is the greatest value for money chair I have ever bought in my life. Ang video na to ay handog ni cdkoffers.com. Marami kang mahanap na iba't ibang uri ng software dito. May games, apps, activation codes for Windows 10. Check out our video on CDK Offers in the video description. Mabilis, mura, and syempre legit dito. Madali lang mag-order, search for the software you need, add to cart, check out, daan ka sa payment options nila, wala pa isang minuto, finished. May legit working CDK ka na sa software na pinili mo. Gamitin ang aming promo code para makakuha pa ng extra 20% discount sa purchase mo. Kung naghanap ka ng mura, legit, and original software, check out cdkoffers.com. Let's talk price first. Because at 7,800 pesos on Lazada, you might be thinking that this is a pretty steep price for a budget chair. But this chair right here is eight years old as of this month or essentially a thousand pesos for each year for its existence and still going strong. You can indeed buy chairs which are cheaper than this, but can they last eight years or longer? And are they as comfortable as the ergodynamic? I reviewed the Ethan chair some months back which retails for 3,799 or around half the cost of the ergodynamic, the video of which I'll link up above. However, let me tell you right off the bat that while it was cheaper, it had so many evident flaws in it that I would be crazy to recommend that over this. The ErgoDynamic is worth the extra investment in cash, and each year that goes by in which it stays strong further strengthens my opinion about it. This chair has lasted so long because of one simple design choice. Mesh material rather than PU leather or fake leather or leatherette, whatever you call it. Prior to this, I owned two leatherette office chairs which were extremely comfortable, and then they just began peeling away out of existence on their second year. The reason for this peeling, which you also see in keyboard wrist support eventually and gaming headsets, is the chemical reaction between your body oils and the humidity of our Philippine weather. In short, even a tiny amount of sweat over a long period of time will rupture this delicate surface. The mesh isn't just durable, but it's very breathable. My arms and back never sweat when I spend hours sitting in this chair. Fake leather makes one prone to sweat, especially if you are doing intense gaming or prolonged sitting because there is no breathing space. The little gaps or holes you see here are essentially small air pockets, which provide a lot of subtle, natural coolant. And the best part, even if you do sweat, this mesh material seems to handle moisture for eight years with no problem. It is vital to have armrests which are level with that of your desk to prevent arm and wrist strain. I have made this mistake more than once. The first time when I got my new desk, which was too high even for this chair, I fixed it by shortening the desk. And the second time when we reviewed the Ethan chair, mental note, thick books come in handy for a lot of other things. Even my Herman Miller Aeron chair valued at 80,000 pesos didn't spare me from trouble. It is off by two inches, and while that may not seem like a lot, it will feel like a lot when playing intensively for several hours straight. Sometimes my wrist feels a little sore even a day after because of this incline. The fact that a 8,000 peso chair can be more versatile in terms of desk matchmaking than an 80,000 peso chair, again, speaks volumes. Adjustable armrests are a necessity to have when you are buying a quality gaming or ergonomic chair. It makes sure that your chair can adapt to various desk heights. One thing the armrests do not have is a feature which brings the arms together. I didn't care though because the distance was perfect for my use. Notice how both my hands are well supported without any wrist strain at all when using the ergodynamic. 
Now, compare that with the 17,500 peso Sharkoon gaming chair. I reviewed the Sharkoon a couple of months ago and the biggest deal breaker was that the seat was so wide that when typing, I could only use one armrest, thus leaving my other arm forced to hover. The sad part was that the Sharkoon was fully adjustable and yet it failed to achieve the basics of what the ErgoDynamic is able to accomplish without it. In short, typing with this arm support for hours on end is a breeze. The headdress is made of the same breathable material as the rest of the body, and it is highly adjustable. You can bring it up or down and tilt the actual cushion upward or downward in four lockable positions. People are sometimes concerned with mesh headdress because of their hair being pulled. I have used this chair for eight years and it has never caught any of my hair. So lean back, relax, and rub your head to that soft cushion all day round. Speaking of leaning back, this is my favorite pastime when I'm at my desk. The angle at which I can fully recline is so optimal that I sometimes feel more relaxed here than I am on my bed or sofa. I feel like it's the adult version of a baby's rocking cradle. First time we're sitting in this chair, freak out how far back I recline. But after eight years of continued lovely reclining usage, the ergodynamic has never let me down. It feels as sturdy as it was the day I bought it. A lumbar pillow is essential. Emphasis on pillow and not just lumbar support. A lot of budget chairs provide something for your lower back. However, I find support such as that of the Ethan questionable. Chairs with this kind of support, and there are many on the market, feel like a claw digging into your skin as though it is preparation for surgery of one's lower spine. The ergodynamic chair's pillow is adjustable. So if you want more tension or less, all you need to do is spin that knob. Gaming chairs usually provide a lumbar pillow in the back, which to me looks tacky. A pillow hidden immediately behind the backrest creates a much more minimalist looking chair. When I first started sporting this chair eight years ago, ergonomic chairs weren't popular for gamers yet. Instead, everyone was still fixated on flashy race car gaming chairs. Today though, a lot more people prefer a minimalist chair design if it accomplishes comfort, which I believe most gaming chairs lack. The overall build is made of hard plastic and stainless steel parts. The only form of apparent age on the chair are minor scratches over the years, but this beast reclines and moves about beautifully. The actual seat cushion has also lasted very well for something which I have been sitting on every day for eight years. It is in between firm and soft. So if you prefer chairs in which you sink into like a lazy boy sofa, then this is definitely firmer than that. But it is still softer than gaming chairs in general. Based on my research, gaming chairs such as the Secret Lab chairs are typically on the firmer side. Again though, nothing beats reclining and having a quiet siesta with this and your feet up. In short, it's comfortable enough to lounge in, yet firm enough that you can focus on doing real work. I upgraded the wheels with the ergonomic to rollerblade like caster wheels. I'll leave a link in the description below. I cannot highly recommend these enough. Please, even if you aren't going to buy a new chair, do yourself a favor and get these beauties. They attach to almost any office or gaming chair and they take your chair rolling to the next level by making movement as smooth as an ice skating ring. Because these roller blades are made from some sort of transparent rubber, they protect whatever floor your chair is on. Lastly, they make rolling around in this super quiet. The only thing that I hear when moving about is the creaking frame of the chair. Which leads me to the negative things about the ergodynamic. Firstly, this chair creaks when you move about as though it's made from loose, cheap material. If this kind of thing bothers you, Please keep in mind that this chair is extremely sturdy, even if it does make sounds. And with that said, that is honestly the only bad thing I could think about for this specific model. Second bad thing is that because my chair is 8 years old, the latest model of the chair has a design change with respect to the armrest. The new one is very much identical to my current chair except for the fact that the armrests are no longer mesh but a soft rubber pad which in all fairness seems very similar to the 80,000 peso Aeron chair. The rest of the chair, as you can see, is still mesh. 
I can't say definitively if this new arm support lasts just as long, but I would buy this new one in a heartbeat if I ever needed to replace my old one. This video is in no way sponsored. In fact, when I asked the official Philippine supplier of the chair if they could loan us a review unit just so I can verify if it's the same chair, they weren't interested. In short, they could care less if I made this video or not. But because of how great a value this chair brings, I needed to do it. After making an unannounced trip to the Cost US branch of Manila, I verified it is indeed the same chair except for the change in arm support design. And I can say that it is as comfy as my 8-year-old original. The ultimate test was to see if it cradled me the same way when I reclined back all the way. And I was not disappointed. I bought my original chair from Dimensions 8 years ago, but they have stopped selling it there. And so if I have sparked your interest in this chair, the only way to get it would be to order it from their Lazada store or to travel here and pick it up yourself. There are a lot of chairs in here, but really the prize is the ErgoDynamic EHC-420, this chair. If you live in Manila, I highly recommend you pick it up yourself because they can assemble it for you for free at the store. I am always concerned about ordering chairs online because there is the fear that a part is missing and I cannot vouch for how easy it is to assemble the chair because mine came pre-assembled. In conclusion, this tacky described work from home boss chair, study chair, gaming chair, call center chair, executive chair is truly the best chair I have ever sat in. Not only because it is extremely comfortable, but because it provides everything a good ergonomic chair should be able to give you without costing too much. Adjustable and leveled armrests, an awesome recline, and most importantly, long-lasting build quality, comparable to chairs which are much more expensive. This is the greatest bang for buck chair, not just because of the following, but because it has lasted 8 years without a hiccup and will probably continue to do so for at least another 2 years. If you're curious why I upgraded to the Herman Miller Aeron, it's because as a chair aficionado, it was time to sample something new. But the ergodynamic will always have a special place in my room, especially when I miss lazing away while watching a video or two. Stay tuned for a review of the Herman Miller Aeron in the near future. And stay safe everyone. We want to give an extremely special shout out to our top fans who helped pay for this new teleprompter. Liam Bagnae, Ian Meru, Richard Onkinko, ITX Addict, John Ruben Ochia, and Christian Aspinosa. Thanks a lot guys. This is going to make producing content a lot faster. Stay safe everyone.